You know, if someone had told me a year ago that July 1st celebrations in 2020 were going to be non-existent thanks to a viral pandemic, I sure as hell wouldn't have believed them. Well, here we are. No parades, no fireworks, no coming together to celebrate this amazing country. And while that's disappointing, at least on the face of things, uh, I think it presents an opportunity. An opportunity to sit back and reflect on where we are right now in Canada. And perhaps where we want to go. We're not without our own problems in this country, and I won't be so arrogant as to claim that we're perfect, because we're not. But I have to think that we're going to come out of this pandemic stronger, more resilient, and more connected than ever before. We may be apart right now, but in a lot of ways, we're more together than we've ever been. This July 1st, I hope you'll take a moment to really sit and consider what you love about Canada. For me, it's the people, it's the landscapes, the family and friends that I have, and the freedoms that I'm afforded by living in such an incredible place. Now more than ever, I don't take any of that for granted. Happy Canada Day, friends. And in the meantime and in between time, enjoy this land for all that it offers. Be true north, be strong, and be free. Cheers. Hi everybody! Canada is the country I was born in and I'm proud to say it. I'm glad I'm living here in Saskatchewan. Sure, we got a lot of problems, but in the end of all of it, Canada will come through and we will still be here true, strong and free. Happy 153rd birthday, Canada. Happy 153rd birthday, Canada. This is a great country to live in. The likes of John Candy, Wayne Gretzky, Wendell Clark, Doug Gilmore, Michael J. Fox, and the great Corey Howe. Happy 153rd birthday, Canada. Canada's a great country to live in, and always will be. Happy birthday, Canada. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Canada, happy birthday to you. Oh, 